Hello and welcome back to the channel. This series we're going to be talking about home chargers. Technically they are EV supply equipment or EVSE but the public know them as home chargers and that's what you put it on the side of the wall of your house or your business. Uh, the charger is actually in your car but listen we won't get into the technical technical stuff today and what we're going to be talking today about is the Wallbox Pulsar Plus. So the Pulsar Plus, the facts, the figures, the options that you can get with the actual charger itself. Uh, it comes in two different colors, comes in this gloss black and a white. It's a tethered charger, which means that the cable is attached to it permanently. Um, and so you can decide then whether what length of cable you want. It comes in a five meter and a seven meter. I'd always recommend going for the longer one if you can. It's better to be looking at it than looking for it. Uh, it's also available in a type two, which is the majority of EVs. And then if you're getting a new EV, this is gonna be the one that is gonna be on it. Uh, but there are some secondhand EVs out there with a type one. And also depending on what part of the world you're looking at this in. So make sure you, you get the right connector if you are purchasing uh, a Wallbox Pulsar Plus. Comes in three different power outputs, a seven kilowatt, an 11 kilowatt, and a 22 kilowatt. Here in Ireland and the UK, we are domestically usually on a single phase, which is a 7.4 kilowatt output. So you only ever need that power of Pulsar Plus unit. Uh, on the continent, you do get three phase. So you could get an 11 kilowatt or a 22 kilowatt. Uh, remember, your car can only take in so much, no matter how big the charger is on the wall or on the side of the road. So on AC, your car might only be able to take seven or 11. You may be lucky that it takes a 22. Uh, these are also available at businesses as well. So you'll see here on the screen, I'm at Kyle Moore Cars here dealership in Dublin, and they've put in some Pulsar Pluses uh, at their showroom. And you can see it can be wall mounted, but also it can be uh, pillar mounted as well. And here it has on the wall box Eiffel pillar. Uh, you can see some shots of it there. So thanks to Kyle Moore for letting me film there, but also thanks to Niall and the team at EV Power for bringing me around some of his installs of the wall box Pulsar Plus. Some other features that I like about the Wallbox Pulsar Plus is the LED halo ring. So there are some chargers out there that don't have this visual, what am I doing? What is the charger doing? And so depending on the color will dictate what the actual state is happening within the charger. So uh, green is standby, standby, blue is charging, turquoise, the vehicle is full, be that a van or a car. Uh, red, there's a fault somewhere. And then amber, you can actually lock it via the app and we're gonna talk about that connectivity as well. So great to be able to see what's happening with the charger uh, from out the window or when you're walking past us to know that everything is, is all good. Uh, the standby ring, the halo ring can actually be turned off as well if you don't want that on all the time, if you don't want that visible uh, from people around the neighborhood looking to see whether you have a charger or not. Um, so the charger itself is uh, 166 by 163 square by about 82 deep, so it's a nice size. Uh, that's what I like about the wall box and it also has the ability then to, um, you can see here on the screen, it has a specific bracket that holds the cable around it. So I really like that option um, in it. And it, it, what I like about the tethered charger is some people say, oh, I don't want the cables hanging around the place. But on a dark winter's evening when it's raining outside and you pull up and you have to charge your car and you go rooting in the boot or the trunk or the frunk or the fruit of your car um, and it is just a faff. It's better to have it actually on the actual uh, wall itself. I've been talking to installers and they reckon around 80% of installs are tethered with a cable. So um, there will be other non-tethered ones on this series. So don't fret if this isn't for you, we're gonna have other options available there as well. Some of the other features of the Pulsar Plus that I like, it has built-in earth, so no need for an earth rod. It has pen fault, it has DC leakage protection. Uh, you will need to buy a RCCB, which is a residual current circuit breaker. Uh, so that is one optional extra that you will have to purchase with the uh, Pulsar Plus. So um, it's nice to have so much of it actually built into the actual uh, charger. Other things that I like about it is it has an app. And so with the app, you can schedule, you can see your statistics and your usage rates. You can also remote lock that we talked about and that'll turn the color amber. Uh, and you can also change the output levels. You can see here, I go from 32 amp all the way down to six amp and all back up again. I don't know why you do that, but it has that option. It has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity and the charger also gets over the air updates of its firmware. So it will be kept up to date uh, with regards to how it operates. 
It has an IP54 rating, meaning that the product will be protected against contamination from limited amounts of dust and other particulates. Uh, and additionally, you can be confident that it will protect them from water sprays from all directions, which is good in the UK and Ireland. It has an IK08 rated product, which means it's protected against five joules of impact. What does that mean in layman's terms? It is equivalent to 1.7 kg mass being dropped from about 300 millimeters above the product. I always get asked about solar and the Wallbox Pulsar Plus has that capability now and you just need the Wallbox power meter which is an, a, an N1 CT clamp uh, and with that power meter that will allow you to um, utilize your solar panels but also if you've got wind turbines so it can start diverting that power but it also can balance the power within the property uh, and that's underneath a couple of different terms within the Wallbox ecosystem. Uh, so it's a single phase clamp power meter combining the power meter with your smart charger unlocks the new My Wallbox functionalities such as EcoSmart and Power Boost. EcoSmart allows you to use the green energy generated from your home solar panels or wind turbines to charge your electric vehicle more sustainably and more efficiently. Power Boost helps avoid blackouts and costly energy bills if you are in a country that has time of use tariffs or when you're set to a certain level of charge. Uh, adjusting the power of the chargers delivers you in your car in accordance with the amount of energy, live energy being used in your house or building. Power Boost is the feature which protects the main fuse of your building, preventing overload. Also known as a dynamic, also known as a dynamic load balancing. It measures how much electricity you use and gives you the rest to your car. Me measurement is via the optional sensor, clamp or the power meter. Um, the Pulsar Plus has a uh, three-year warranty, which I really like as well. There's a lot of other chargers out there that only give a one-year warranty, so make sure you check that out, whatever charger you go for, and we will be covering a lot of them in this new series. So let me know in the comments if you have the Pulsar Plus, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Uh, people always dive into the comments to give their opinion and why they went for something or why they didn't go for something and why they like what they bought or why they don't. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed that look around the Wallbox Pulsar Plus. Make sure you like the video, share it to somebody that's thinking about getting a home charger or a charger at, bit at their place of work. And remember, if you think an EV is for you, even an EV charger, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching.